Johnny Crocus with a look at sports. And it was supposed to be a special summer in the city by the sea in Newport. U.S. Open Senior Golf at Historic Newport Country Club. Any CBL All-Star Game hosted by the Newport Gulls. And of course, the big week at the Tennis Hall of Fame with the Hall of Fame induction and the tournament. But will any of those events go on? We'll have to wait and see. As for the status of the Tennis Hall of Fame and their big week in July, I caught up earlier with CEO Todd Martin. It's one of Rhode Island's signature events every summer, Tennis Hall of Fame Week in Newport in July. But this year, the event, like everything right now, is in jeopardy. We won't know really until probably mid-May for certain whether we can have the event or not. So all of our efforts right now are full speed ahead in planning, but um, uh, you know that's also very difficult to do from home. All of professional tennis has been pushed back until June 7th at the earliest. The French Open moved to September, and a meeting for Wimbledon is set for Wednesday. And if they can't arrange for tennis at the All England Club, chances are it won't happen the following week in Newport. Ultimately, we are subject to, if the ATP feels it's safe for their international player body to be right. traveling, and, um, and, and obviously if Gov Governor Raimondo is comfortable having conventions of, uh, of up, upwards of 3,000 right. people. And Martin tells me the tournament and induction will happen together or not at all, and in that week in July or not at all, with a suspended date unrealistic. If we don't have our tournament in, in the week of July 12, uh, it, we can't just wedge a grass court tournament in the midst of a bunch of hard court tournaments or clay court tournaments or the such. Goran Ivanisevic and Conchita Martinez are the two inductees for this year's class. And we should note that while the Hall of Fame is currently closed, they still have some cool virtual activities going on online.